Here are some definitions I want you to memorize. Number one, if an ion carries positive charge, it is called a cation. Number two, if an ion carries negative charge, it is called an anion. Number three, if an ion contains only one atom, it is a simple ion. Number four, if an ion contains two or more atoms, it is a polyatomic ion. An ion cannot be both a cation and an anion at the same time. Similarly, an ion cannot be both a simple ion and a polyatomic ion at the same time. However, an ion can be both a cation and a simple ion at the same time. An ion can be both a cation and a polyatomic ion at the same time. Similarly, an ion can be both an anion and a simple ion at the same time. An ion can be both an anion and a polyatomic ion at the same time. Simple ions are formed when a neutral atom gains or loses electrons. Let's look at the periodic table. I circled several elements in the periodic table. The elements I circled are called metalloids. They are also called semi-metals. The elements in the periodic table on the left side of the metalloids are metals, except hydrogen. Hydrogen is a non-metal. The elements in the PL table on the right side of the metalloids are non-metals. Metals can lose electrons to form simple cations. Non-metals can obtain additional electrons to form simple anions. Hydrogen can obtain an electron. It can also lose an electron. When hydrogen combined with metals, it will obtain one additional electron to form an anion. When hydrogen combined with non-metals, it will lose the electron to form a simple cation. The first group, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium, are called alkaline metals. They will form plus one simple cations. The second group are called alkaline earth metals. They will form plus two simple cations. This group is called halogen. They will form next to one simple anions. This group is called chalcogen. They will form next to two simple anions. This group will form next to three simple anions. This group will form plus three simple cations. The charges of the most stable ions of this group cannot be predicted. These metals are called transition metals. The charges of the most stable transition metal ions cannot be predicted based on the periodic table only. The best way to recognize polyatomic ions is to remember a list are the most common polyatomic ions. This is the list of the most common polyatomic ions I want you to remember. I want you to remember both the chemical formulas and the names of the polyatomic ions. Chemical formulas and names.